Haere mai ngā manuhiri, haere mai, haere mai ki tēnei wahi kororipo, haere mai. Haere mai ki te wahi taonga o ngā puhi, no mai, haere mai. Tai whakatare hua e mihi ana ki te whenua. Ka tangi ki ngā tāngata, kuri pō, kuri au. Kua rongo e tihia ki te matai tū, tū te winiwini, tū te wanawana, tū e whakaputāinga ki te whai au ki te au māruma. Whano, whano. Haere mai te toki o haumi e, hui e, tāike. Ko mā tātua te waka, ko orongo te mainga, ko tākei te moana, ko kōpū kaua te aua, ko whiti māruma te ahau te marae, Ko ngā pui te iwi, ko ngā tirehia te hapu, ko Sandra Taipo toku māma, ko mā kei hei toku pāpa, ko Alfonso hei hei toku ngō. Nō reira, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. O nā mihi to you, Atarairia, this is Atarairia, and to your mokapuna, Alfonso, for the welcome to this place here in Kirikiri. Just point out a few of the things that we can see here, Atarairia. Uh, kia ora tato, no mai hara mai, welcome. Um, in front of us we have the um, archaeological site of Kororipo Pa. This was part of the fortified pa back in the day. Um, in front of us is the, the kainga, or the living part, where they would have had all the houses. So this is, this is the part when there's war, everybody rushes to the fortified part and defends it. The kainga is the everyday living area. Uh, the basin in front of us here is, is, um, is the portage um, that they would have had access up and down the river out to the bay and other places. And across the way is the, uh, the Kirikiri Mission Station. Uh, it was originally started just below the bottom of the foot of the pa, but over time moved across to what we see now today. And uh, behind the, those trees there's a, a place called Te Ahurea. Awesome, it's a great place and uh, steeped in history and you're very well connected to this place and we talk about heritage and this is a, certainly an Aotearoa place of heritage but what does a place like this mean to you? What, what's its importance? Well as I said in my karanga this, this place is a wahi taonga, a, a significant place for, for Ngāpuhi but for me it is the embodiment the physical, physical remnant of our heritage. What we see today is what we have left and we're quite, quite um, lucky to have that. Um, but for me personally and my mokopuna who, who mihi to you and gave a karakia, karakia, it's our living heritage. We are the living embodiment of that heritage and stand before you today. And that's really important because um, as custodians of that heritage in the future, they need to know the stories, the yes. people, the places, stories behind those people and places to, to keep that heritage alive. It is. Um, Hongi Hika was the person who brought uh, Samuel Marsden to this place and offered him a potential site to start a mission after Rangihaua. Um, there were players like Tareha, the chief of Ngāti Rehia, Rewa, another chief of Ngaitawake, and as, as you see when you look in deeper into the history, they were key players in different events like the um, King William's letter, He Whakaputanga, the, 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 the Northern Chiefs signed, and the signing of the Treaty of Waitangi. They also happened to be um, the direct tūpuna of my grandchildren, my grandsons that are here today. Well, kia ora. thank you for welcoming us here and giving us a brief overview of, of this place and, and its significance um, to you, your whānau, and we're really looking forward to exploring it a bit further. Kia ora. Kia ora.